Lesson 11.11, .11, Word Problem Solving Equals Shares. This is Lesson 11.10 in the 2012 Copyright. Drawing a diagram can help us solve problems about equal shares. We can draw to divide a shape in different ways to show halves, thirds, or fourths. When an object is divided in half, it is split into two equal parts. When an object is divided into thirds, it is split into three equal parts. And when an object is divided into fourths, it's split into four equal parts. An equal part is an equal share. Equal parts are the same size. Equal shares are the same size. Bob wants to cut his brownie into equal parts to share it with his brother. How might Bob cut the brownie? We think he needs to cut a square into two equal parts to have two equal shares, one for him and one for his brother. We need to draw the cuts that Bob can make. So he's going to share his brownie equally. We could cut it in half this way, couldn't we? And they would each get an equal share. Another way we could do it is with a diagonal line going from this vertex to this vertex. We would have two triangles and they would be equal shares. Mr. Kim wants to divide his rectangular garden into three equal parts to plant vegetables. How might he divide the garden? We think he needs to cut a rectangle into three equal parts. We need to draw how he could divide the garden. So do you remember from our previous videos how we can divide or split up a rectangle? Three equal parts means we need three parts that are the same size. He can split it like this and like this, and he'll have three equal parts. He could also split it this way and have three equal parts. Mrs. Kim baked two same-sized pans of brownies. She cut each in a different way. This one, she cut it vertically and then horizontally. This one, she made a diagonal cut and then another diagonal cut. And a customer wants one piece from pan B because they think the pieces are larger than the pieces in pan A. Is the customer correct and why? We think, were the pans of brownies cut into the same number of equal parts? We know both pans are the same size. So before they were cut, it was the same one big pan of brownies. This is in four equal parts, and this one is in four equal parts, and the pans are the same size. Is the customer correct? If you said the customer is not correct, you're right. And they're not correct because both pans are the same size, and they were cut into four equal parts. Both pans are the same size, and both were cut into four equal parts. It may look like this piece is bigger than this piece, but it is one of four equal parts of the pan, and this is one of four equal parts. It's the same amount of brownie, but in a different shape. Tala and two friends want to share a box of donuts. Draw how they can divide the box of donuts. How many donuts would each person get? And we think Tala and two friends are three people. Tala's one person and two friends, that would be three people in all. How do you think they could divide these donuts so they would each get an equal share? Well, if you said to divide it like this, they would each get two donuts. 
they would each get one of three equal parts. We split the box into three parts as thirds. They would each get one third of the box. They would each get two donuts. Dave has two pizzas that are the same size. He cut each pizza into fourths. How many equal parts does he have in all? And we think fourths are four equal parts. We can even see the word four in the word fourths, can't we? And we can draw the cuts he made for a circle to have four equal parts. We would cut it in half this way, then we would cut it in half this way. And we could do the same thing for the other pizza. Now each pizza is in fourths. How many slices does he have now? How many equal parts does he have? He has four plus four. If you said Bob has eight, you're right. Eight slices of pizza would be eight equal parts. For extra lessons about fractions, you can see this video's description for links to my other grade two playlist that I made years ago, which has these very good lessons in them. 10.10 .10 is about understanding fractions and talks about one third, one fourth, one half written as a fraction. And 10.11 talks about working with fractions and 10.12 uh, talks about fractions of a group, like two-thirds, five-sixths, so that would be very, very helpful. I'm going to add it to the second grade math playlist, even though these are older videos that I made from my other older grade two playlists, but I think they're very, very helpful, and I think you should watch them. It'll be very educational. This Go Math textbook didn't talk about two-thirds or three-fourths or five-sixths. And I think it would be very good for you before you start third grade. I hope you have a wonderful break from school. We're finished with second grade math. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.